Hello all, and welcome to Measles, or Messel, Measle, terrible title, whatever it's called. So let's dive on in and see what we've got. Setting-wise, there's a few options at least to play with. Mouse sensitivity, tells you what your controls are, but you can't seem to rebind them. And it does look like you can still support a controller. So we'll OK all that. Let's dive on in the I'm just going to start a new game. I'm, there's a lot of introduction. I'll use the magic of video editing to jump, I think. And so, the game is afoot. So yes, this is one of the game's mechanics, as you can... Have little time based flashbacks pressing Q. So, yes, and the other thing you'll need to do is every time you restart the game, you'll need to go to your settings and turn off that bloody annoying head shake, even though it says it's disabled here. Hopefully that annoying breathing sound will sh shut up shortly. And you also notice that little hand icon. Which every time you can hit R. Because you see he's reading, or he's writing a book. You see, you play the character of Messel or Measles, whatever his name is. The intro chapter there is just like a little tutorial bit where you walk along. And so yes, if I... You play Measel, who's currently sat nice and warm and cosy in a studio writing a book about this character of himself so that certainly takes out the element of danger you're a fictitious character playing out a book Akşam 22'den itibaren de bu kapıyı kilitleyin. Tamam doktor bey. So yes. As you can see it's the usual horror game tropes. Magically that key has now appeared because of the time thing. And there's your inventory. As you can sit there and read your... Shall read them in a second. So Read or use various. Okay. So yes, you you can imagine your usual horror game tropes. Slightly cumbersome UI and interface at times though. And it's not a bad looking game. I mean, it is on the Unreal Engine. Okay, it's a strange deja vu feeling. I've definitely seen these assets before in other horror games. And it is pretty much an average horror game, to be honest with you, in that respect. Now, because we have a key. Yeah, so again, you don't actually have to collect all the items to complete a level. When you get to the end of it, you can carry on to the next part of the level. If you're a completionist type, you might want to go around collecting every document, reading them all to see the story. So yeah, as I was saying, it's, just, it's really just a kind of average horror game. It's not a bad first attempt, and it is only, I think it's about £4 on Steam, the game itself. I think I finished in two hours. It does have some light puzzle elements as well. Usual limited little sprint. So that's kind of everything really, it's best summed up as yeah, an average horror game. Some slightly cumbersome UI and bugs as well, you will get the odd glitch, sometimes you have to use your spacebar to get upstairs, or at least to get on stairs. 
So there's the odd glitch. One thing though, at least as it's in, I say it's in a, I'm assuming it's Turkish. I think this is set in Turkey in a developer's so I'm going to assume also Turkish. At least the English translations in the documents are pretty good. Back, you foul thing. I'm not worried about the ghosts, I'm just worried about the fact they're children. Bloody annoying horrors at the best of times. Oi, shove off. You can sort of semi move around and those little flashback things are going on. Ah, here's a typical puzzle element. Right, I'm just going to follow these. Mm, let me see, Not that one, Not that one. This can be sometimes problematic, but this one's sometimes bugging out. As you say, you will get a lot of various little bugs and glitches in this game. So the idea is you're supposed to follow those pipes around into whichever room to turn these valves. But sometimes it will kill you or... Uh, like here, I think they'll be stuck. Like, the hell, game? Right, that one was first, didn't that one, which we've done. And now we're cut off by the fire. Ah, yes, right. Yeah, this is one of the things I'm on about. The game is at least checkpoint based. I'll come back and worry about that at a later time. Ah, so I've already completed the game, so... Oh yeah, it's a fair point. For those of you who like your Steam achievements, and I'm not one of them, I'll jam on a bit on the graphics here, sort of saying about some of the smoothing issues in this game. The achievements are a bit bugged. The last one never unlocks. Randomly cut off from moving any further forward. So yeah, you, as I say, it's your standard horror game. You work through picking up documents, recordings, seeing these flashbacks, piecing together the story, but it's a fairly predictable kind of story. You'll have figured the gist inside of about <laughs> long before the first level anyway. I say if you do get a bit lost, not sure what to do next, uh, one thing these novels are usually a good idea to check. It will tell you where to go next. So certainly for four pounds, it's not it's not a terrible game at all. But it's by the same token not a great game. Oh yeah, as I was just explaining for those of you who like your achievements, and like to go for your hundred percent, the last one appears to be bugged. So you won't be able to collect the hundred percent. If that's your bag. Oh yeah. Oh that's right, that's the key, it was in that in the fire room. So yeah, it's not a bad first attempt. But it certainly could have done with a bit more polish before being released, perhaps. But it is, as I say, it's, I think it's £4, two hours to complete. Certainly not the worst horror game I've played on Steam. And certainly played a few. And that is, well, this is Measles. Missiles, whatever it calls itself. An average horror game, admittedly. But, yeah, oh yes, of course, the spooky wheelchair. What horror game would be complete without that trope? (laughs) 
So, yeah, if you're in the mood for a cheap, mostly well done horror, it's slightly a glitchy in places, it's all right. Uh, yeah, the atmospherics are pretty good, the sounds pretty good, the graphics, I'm pretty sure I've seen them before, are nice. So, it is Unreal Engine, so what one would expect from Unreal Engine? Cheap and cheerful. Probably some just came up the best. So I think we'll conclude our dealings at this point, dear viewer. There's not really much more to add to the game, so... This was measles. So hopefully you found that video useful. And if you have, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let me know you're alive. And I shall see you all next time. Bye now.